hello so in this video i'm going to talk about an issue that you can come across after you have installed php my admin is that you're trying to log in as root and when you give the root password whatever is your root password and you try to log in, you get this particular issue that cannot connect to this now you're very sure that the root password is correct and the same issue will happen if you try to log in via the command line as a generic user minus u root and if i try to give the password same issue over here fine now if you do it with sudo or you log in as root depending upon your distribution and you say the same thing so it you will notice that it will log in in my wrong password okay so it directly logs in it even does not ask for the password now the thing over here is that uh, mysql is set to socket authentication now whatever that is we can discuss later on or i'll provide a link where you can read it so socket authentication basically in simple terms it uh, uses the information or the user of your system so currently the system is using the root user of the system and if you run the login with root user it directly logins now that is not going to work obviously from the web interface so first of all let us check if this socket authentication is really enabled or not how you can do it is here so i have just uh, kept the queries ready with me over here so here this query which you see over here will give me a list of the plugins and other things that are active or here what i can see is auth socket is active now let us verify if this auth socket is there for a root user or not so with this query fine select user plugin from mysql.user where user in root so over here this tells me that root user is using auth socket now we simply need to change this to normal password authentication so what you need to do is you have to run this query which will set it to password password authentication over here fine so running this query has set it to password authentication now we can verify this by logging in now here for the demo i have kept the password as root123 it's advisable not to use such simple passwords this is a generic testing machine even in testing machines you should get into a good habit fine so i'll be updating this later on now let's check this so here root123 and now i can log in so uh, my authentication is now set to native password on mysql and i'm able to log in let us try this from the command line also mysql minus u root and minus p obviously if i don't give the password it's not going to work so i'll give the password as you already know it here so i'm able to log in as root user on mysql and that is how you can set it now for some reason if you don't want this authentication or you want the socket authentication back just set this to socket authentication with this query i'm not going to run it because i want the regular authentication native password authentication so just running this much is enough uh, so someone might ask where is the password for this of course socket authentication is automatically based on the user of your system so when you have to run a query as that root user you will be identifying yourself over there so it does not needs a password it's based on the socket system so that is there this is how you can set your authentication mechanism to this if you are facing this problem hope this can help if you want further details on this you can go to this mysql.com dev.mysql.com 
and here on chapter 11 it discusses about the same thing okay so hope that helped thanks for watching